Number 49, unreasonable results. Based on Kepler's laws and information on the orbital characteristics of the moon, calculate the orbital radius for an Earth satellite having a period of one hour. All right, so we're gonna use the, uh, the formula down here. Um, we got, this is Kepler's third law. So this talks about uh, periods and radii of two satellites that orbit the same parent system or the same planet. So here, I'm going to be talking about the uh, orbital period of the moon, okay, squared, divided by the orbital period of the satellite squared should equal the radius then of the moon cubed divided by the radius of the satellite cubed. All right, so what are we looking for here? They want us to calculate the orbital radius of the satellite so orbital radius of the satellite is found here. So let's just rework this formula, all right? Um, basically, well, we gotta do a whole bunch of switching, right? I mean, this is just basically like cross multiplying stuff, but we got to bring this denominator up into the numerator, and then we gotta bring these guys on over to the right-hand side, so this will come down in, into the denominator. This will go up into the numerator over there, all right? So let's just do that quickly. So the, uh, Orbital radius of the satellite cubed will equal um, the orbital radius of the moon cubed, okay, multiplied then by this denominator value, the period of the satellite squared, all divided by then the period, this comes down into the denominator now, the period of the moon squared, okay? So, and then we just have to take the cube root, right, in order to find just the radius. So let's do that and plug in some numbers. So the the uh, orbital radius of the satellite should equal cube root of now the uh, radius of the moon. So go to your table up here on the top right, look at the Earth and the moon, and what is or, uh, yeah, what is the radius. Um, remember that it's in terms of kilometers. You can convert them to meters or just leave them in terms of kilometers. It shouldn't really make a difference here. Um, so uh, what do we got here? So the uh, radius here is 3.84 times 10 to the 5. 3.84 times 10 to the 5. Remember, that's in terms of kilometers. Times then the orbital period of the satellite. Well, they said one hour, right? But just look forward. This period that they give you on the table is in terms of years. So why don't we convert this hour into year? Okay, let's do that first. So 1.00 hours, converting that into years, hour on the bottom, day on the top. 24 hours in a day, the hours go bye-bye, and then put day and year, right, 365 days in a year, days go bye-bye, and that's your answer. So simply take one, one, and divide it by 24 times 365, close those parentheses, 1.14, so this works out to be 1.14 times 10 to the minus four, and that is year. Okay, so this is the period. Great, for the satellite, okay? So let's plug that in. So now we'll plug that in. So this is 1.14 times 10 to the minus four, okay? All divided by then, and oh, let's not forget the cube and square, right? Don't forget that. So this value, we gotta cube it, otherwise we're gonna be way off. That's squared, and then now the denominator here, the period uh, for the moon is, that's in terms of years, so that works out to be 0 0.07 Oops, 07481, and that's squared. All right, guys, so just plug it into the calculator. Let's give it a go. So now 3.84, oops, 3.84 times 10 to the fifth cubed times 1.14 times 10 to the fourth, oops, excuse me, times 10 to the negative fourth, and that is squared divided by 0.07481 squared. And then take the cube root. You can also just raise it to the one third power. That's the same thing. So here we have, this works out to be 5,000 and about 90. 5,090 if I consider rounding. Um, uh, this is in kilometers, okay? Just realize though that's in kilometers because I used kilometers, all right, in uh, as my... Um, uh, orbital radius for the moon. So this is 5,000 kilometers. That's the radius of the orbit. So it says, what is, uh, so letter B, what is unreasonable about this result? Well, 
here's the Earth, guys. Okay, here's the Earth. What's the Earth's radius? The Earth's radius is about 6,400 kilometers. Okay, so what's the radius of this orbit? 5,000. Huh? So we're basically telling you, it's basically saying that it's going to orbit somewhere inside of the Earth somehow. All right, so I, th I think that's a little unreasonable. All right, so it, it obviously cannot be less than the, um, than the radius of the Earth. Just know that the radius, you know, your answer here is in terms, you know, it's from the center of the parent system. So the parent system here is the Earth. So this, this kilometer value originates from the center of that not from the surface. You might mistakenly think that. It's okay. I've done it before too. Um, but it, it doesn't originate on the surface. It originates at the uh, at the center. Okay? So obviously that's unreasonable. And then let us see. It it doesn't it 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 doesn't have an orbit of an hour. That's basically the unreasonable part. It'd have to be much longer. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe and look forward to helping you out with the next question. Take care.